Hey everybody, welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. As you just saw, we're here in Schenectady, New York, and my friend's house has a Verizon millimeter wave node right across the uh, yard over here. You can't really get as good of a signal as you could unless you hold the phone up. But uh, in my testing, I've managed to hit three gigabits per second easily. And I hit uh, very quick on the upload as well. I actually managed to hit four gigabits per second on my iPad consistently when I hold it up. Let me see if I can get a different uh, position here. Let's try again on this brick wall. <clears throat> Phenomenal ping times. There we go. There's two gigs. Three gigs. The highest I've managed to hit so far was 4.2 gigabits per second down. It's raining out here, so I'm trying to wipe water off my face. Let's try one more time here. Twenty-eight millisecond ping. The loaded ping times are amazing. That's unbelievable. I mean, that's a pipe dream for home internet. Actually, to tell you guys the truth, I could have five gig symmetrical on my fiber provider if I really wanted to. Uh, so yeah, there's Verizon three point eight down. 3.8 gigs, that is. 243 on the up. Uh, unbelievably good. Let's test one more time in another position over here. Again, this is Schenectady, New York, so let me give you guys a general overview of where we are. <clears throat> so I believe this is the east side of Schenectady. And downtown is right over there. Uh, Rivers Casino is in the northern part of the city there. Uh, there's uh, 890, there's the throughway. So yeah, we're like in northeast Schenectady. And this, I can tell you right off the bat, this whole area is just littered with millimeter wave nodes. Uh, I did get a 1.4 gigabit per second test over on T-Mobile near downtown. The rest of the sites that I've tested T-Mobile on since I've been here are basically just your standard seven, six, seven hundred down, and about a hundred on the up. So T-Mobile uh, still very, very impressive around here. They're just not quite as impressive as Verizon. I haven't really tested with AT&T too much. They're, you know, AT&T is just not as exciting for me. Uh, so yeah, so you can see now we're obstructed by these trees in that shed. So we've cut our bandwidth down to one point one. And uh, it's pretty typical inside, too. You're cut to, like, five to 700 down on millimeter wave. Um, so there you go. There's Verizon. Let me switch over to T-Mobile, and I'll run a test with them. Be right back. All right, we've switched over to T-Mobile. Let me run that test for you. Like I said, T-Mobile, typical stuff around town. Six, 700 down. Did get a gig-plus site in downtown Schenectady off of uh, one of the hospitals there. In this neighborhood, they're a little weaker uh, than a few blocks away, so 424 down, still nothing to complain about. Ping time 51 is just kind of meh. Loaded ping times are, again, just kind of meh. They're, they're all right. Jitter 11. And our upload is going to be 12.47. Give it one more... Uh, give it one more go here. See if changing directions does anything. All right, a little bit, a little bit better there. Hitting our more typical uh, 600. Well, it was. 48 millisecond ping time. Higher loaded ping times for this run. But better download speed and better jitter at 9. And we'll see what happens with the upload. About 20. All right, let me pause it. I'll switch over to AT&T uh, via Boost Infinite. Yep. All right, guys, we've switched over to AT&T via Boost Infinite. 
Uh, I have seen at least one site with AT&T uh, C-band equipment on it, but not near here. So this is probably just low band 5G for them. Boost Infinite, lowest priority on AT&T, just a reminder. 67 millisecond pings, so that's probably the worst ping time out of the three. Loaded ping time is not that great. Jitter, 23 milliseconds. Upload ping's not great either. Uh, so, you know, still nothing to complain about, though. 73.6 down is, is still very, very usable, but not nearly as good as the other two. So uh, AT&T, you know, once again showing their uh, competitive disadvantage being the furthest behind in C-band now. Here's another test just for kicks. 67 millisecond ping. And uh, slower on the download this time. At least so far. So there you go. AT&T, not that impressive. But, uh, you know, again, speed's still very usable. Nothing to complain about. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. And uh, we'll see you next time from here in uh, Schenectady, New York, near Albany. Thanks a lot, guys.